Ooh, it's raining outside and I hope you can still hear my voice through this microphone. Hey crafters, welcome to Anjirisa's crafting room. My name is Trisa, but because everyone always misspelled my name, it's Teresha, Tresha, Trisna. To make it easy, you can call me Risa. I really love crafting and in this video, I will show you how to make this simple headband with a little piece of fabric or ribbon right on the side. So let's get started. First, I will start from the headband size. I am using this headband size because the size of our fabric really depends on the size of this headband. I will try to measure the length of the headband. Let's see, I have centimeter measurement here. The length of my headband is about 38 centimeters or let's say it's 15 inches. So the size, the width, it's about no more than half an inch. You can say it's one centimeter, no more than half an inch. Let's try to prepare our fabric. I am using cotton fabric to make this headband and as I have always say over and over, I think I say this on every of my videos that if you are a beginner, I will suggest you to start from using cotton fabric. And then if you sew regularly, if you sew a lot, you can try experiment with other types of fabric like satin, chiffon, and many other types of fabric. The length of this fabric will be the same as the length of our headband. So it's 15 inches and the width of this, I am using 4 inches wide. So with 4 inches wide and my headband size, it's about 1 centimeter or half an inch. The final result of my headband's width is it's about 3 inches, no more than 3 inches. If you want to make it wider, you want to make it smaller, you can adjust the width of this fabric. I am using 15 by 4 inches. First, I am going to fold the fabric. Fold it to the with the right sides together. And then take our headband, slide it here because we are going to insert the headband inside. So we are going to sew this part. Make sure that the seam allowance the headband will fit into this part for later. I will show you later. After we sew this part, make sure that the headband will fit inside because we are going to insert the headband for later. After this, I want to press this open just to make it a little, how do we say, neat, clean, and tidy. After this, I want to make this little, little ribbon, or <laughs> what do we call this? I am using 15 inches long, and the width is about 1 and a quarter inch or you can use one inches one inch and I know that cutting this little strip of fabric is quite challenging it's difficult so if you hardly if you can hardly cut this little strip of fabric you can use an inch wide ribbon you can use an inch wide ribbon like satin grosgrain like I did here I am using this ribbon to make this headband so if you can hardly cut this little strip of fabric, you can use a ribbon, an inch wide ribbon. I will fold the fabric in half and we are going to sew it right here. And do the same thing on the other side. Fold the fabric in half and sew it right here. I have finished sewing this part. Next, prepare a wider piece of fabric to make it easy to sew. Put the right sides together. 
put the right sides together like this and I am going to insert a little piece of fabric right here just to make it sturdy to make it sturdy stiff and sturdy you can use felt fabric sponge or any fabric that you can choose but the easiest fabric the easiest material to find is felt fabric I am going to sew this part to make it easy I will sew it right on the previous sewing thread here I will show you that my sponge is right behind I sew it all together Before I forgot to mention that the sponge or felt fabric that you can use should be shorter than our fabric because I don't want the, the end here the end here to be too bulky. And next I am going to trim it. Trim this part. I am going to flip the fabric inside out as I said this over and over that I like to press my fabric flat down so the final look the final result will be will look very nice i really like everything neat and tidy let's press it and next the fun part is to insert the headband i will insert the headband through this little piece that we made at the beginning so make sure that this piece our headband will fit inside so this way our headband will stays in the middle it won't move to the left or to the right side i think it's too long i will trim a little just trim it a little Okay, it's enough let's prepare the hot glue gun I will use hot glue gun to finish this part I think I will only show you once because there are two I will show you once to make my video is not too long <laughs> to complain add a little glue right here add a depth of glue here Next, you can fold it to the outside of the headband like this or you can fold it to the back side of the headband like this as you can see both of this headband I fold it to the outside and this one I fold it to the inside fold it to the inside of the headband I think I will fold it to the inside just fold it add a little glue here Fold it to the inside of the headband. Just like this. And then to finish the end here, I will use a grow grain ribbon. Grow grain ribbon. Let's see. You can wrap it around. Wrap it around here. Just to. Okay. 
after I cut the ribbon, I like to seal to burn it to seal it so it's it won't fray. Just burn it, burn the edges. Now you can attach this to the end of the headband. Attach a glue. Can you see it from the camera? Then wrap around. And that's it. Just repeat this on the other ends. Add a glue. And that's it. Our simple headband is finished. Thanks for watching this video. If you find this tutorial useful, please give me a like and share this video. If you don't, just hit the dislike button and tell me below about what you don't like. See you in my next video. Bye-bye!